Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to install Mac OS X Ventura on this non-supported 2015 MacBook. So what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is to go onto the browser and go OCLP. We're going to go here, download. We're going to go to the latest releases, which as of today is version 15. We're going to download the, the zip version, which will just take a couple of seconds. That's finished downloading. Let's open that. Let's close the browser. That already says Ventura because I've used it on another machine. Put your password in. It's going to download some stuff. And we're going to create an installer. I'm going to use an existing download because I've already downloaded Ventura onto the machine because it takes a while. I'm going to click that. We're going to go to the SanDisk drive and off it goes. It's now going to write the disk. So I'll come back when that's done. Come through this and it will ask you now if you would like to install to a disk. We're going to say yes. It's going to build this for the particular machine. This is a Mac Pro 4.1, I think I just saw something. Okay, we're going to install that to the 500, no, sorry, to the sand disk. Because we want it on the EFI for the installer. And then we're going to press reboot. We're now going to press the Alt key and hold the Alt key down. I'm holding the Alt key down at the moment to bring the picker up. Now, one thing that sometimes can be confusing is you don't know which one of these to install. So what I'm going to do, pull the stick out and the ones we don't want disappear. So now we know we're going to do an EFI boot on that one. We're going to install Ventura. This machine was running Sonoma, but it really didn't like it. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Disk Utility, View, Show All Disks. We're going to go to our Apple SSD and Erase it. I'm doing this because I want a fresh install on this machine because of the problems that I've caused. Okay, I'm going to click done on that. Close this. And we're going to double click install Ventura. Click continue. And wait for the license agreement to come up. Agree. We're going to put it onto the untitled disk. Click continue. And now it's just a case of waiting. So the next thing it's going to do, it asks us what country we're in. We're going to select the United Kingdom. We're going to collect not now. Connect to Wi-Fi.
don't want to transfer anything. I'm not going to set that up now. Agree to terms and conditions. Put some details in. Just going to do enable location services. I'm going to untick share, set that up later, turn Siri off, put that on auto. And there we go, we're logged in. And in a moment, it will come up and ask us if we want to install the legacy patcher to the hard drive. We don't want to know that. So it's just sorting that out in the background. We're going to say OK to that. That's going to map patch the system drive, which we now need to go to the the 512 gig drive, because that's what's in this machine. And then we click reboot. Okay, so I'm now going to remove the USB stick out of the machine. So it will be doing its first native boot. Now, Okay, that was very, very quick. Sometimes it can take a few moments after it's chimed at you to actually start loading. Just like that. So the first time it does that, it'll take a while. But once it's done its first load, like it's doing now, if I then restart it, it will restart much quicker. And there we, there we are, we're in. I'm just gonna pause you and I'll show you the About Mac. There you go, Ventura on a 2015 MacBook 15. So I'll just do a full shutdown and show you the speed that it starts up as. And there you go, it's straight in. You can turn that menu off, um, which then causes it to load straight up without giving you access to uh, recovery. But, you know, it loads in pretty quick. And there you are. Back to your desktop, if I put the right password in. And that's it. So there we go. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this will give you some concept of how you can bring your old Mac back to life. Please hit subscribe, the bell and the other stuff and have a look at some of the other videos. Thank you.